Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish Move Love, and this is your 30-minute full-body mat workout. We're doing everything from the mat today because I've got a knee injury keeping me down, but whatever's got you on the mat today, if you want more seated workouts, you can hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, you guys, we are jumping right into this mat workout, and the equipment you're gonna need are dumbbells. If you have dumbbells, awesome. And I'm gonna add these mini loop resistance bands to increase the intensity of my lower body. I'm also gonna throw on some ankle weights. You don't have to have them. They're just a great way to increase intensity. I also have a little plotty sponge ball to add some inner thigh engagement. If you don't have a ball, you can grab a kid's squishy toy ball. You can grab a throw pillow or use anything you have, okay? Just make the workout work for you. That's the motto of life right now. Just make it work for you. That's why we're doing this from the mat. I am about six, five and a half, six weeks post uh, meniscus surgery. So I had a full meniscus repair. And I am finally, this is really exciting, you guys, able to bend my leg to 90 degrees. Do you see this? I'm very excited about this. Now don't worry if you are um, recovering from a knee surgery and you need to keep your leg straight and locked out, I got you covered. You can do everything with a straight leg today. So no worries on that front. Otherwise, if you're able to bend, oh yeah, check out the knee bend. It's very exciting. If you are on the road to recovery, you know it's those tiny little milestones that keep us moving. But today we are gonna get moving with a full body floor workout. You can do it all from the mat in 30 minutes. So here's what it looks like. You have five circuits. This is a new format. It's gonna go A, B, A. So you have two exercises, move A and move B. You're always gonna do move A for 30 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. And then you'll do move B for 45 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. So repeat move A, go back to the top. Don't worry, you just gotta follow along with me. I'm gonna guide you through it all. So if you are ready, let's get ourselves started with a good old warm up. You need just your body weight for this warm up, okay? So you're gonna start, legs are nice and long and straight. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. Just give me a couple shoulder rolls, up, back and down, up, back and down, one more, up, back and down, sit up nice and tall, sit bones pushing into the mat. We're going to reach for our toes, then reach overhead. Reach for our toes, then reach overhead. Reach and reach, nice work, just reach and reach. Think about lengthening through those hamstrings, lengthening those arms overhead, nice. Tall spine, you got it. Right here, four, nice work. Go three, awesome job. Two, and last one. Let's add some rotation. So take those arms overhead. You're gonna open and open, side to side, rotating through that torso. Nice work right here. Big arms, nice long spine, open it up. Nice, the best thing I think about moving throughout this knee surgery is it just helps me not feel so stiff all the time, right? You're not moving like you normally do. Right here for four, for three, for two, and one. I'm gonna take my hands, just gently place them, fingertips facing my butt. We're just gonna go for some straight leg lifts. So slightly hinge back, engage that core, lift the right leg, lift the left leg. Lift and lift. So I'm thinking about flexing my quad. Hello, quad sets. If you have a knee injury, you know what a quad set is, right? You're trying to get that quad to fire. Man, we have had a lot of muscle atrophy, lost a lot of muscle tone in this quad, but this is one thing you can do to keep it moving right here. You got it, four more. Go four, go three, go two, and one. All right, we are gonna do a slow roll back. So take those arms right out in front of you, and now you're gonna roll back, back to the mat as slow as you can. So roll down, let's go on an eight count. Go for eight, seven, six, you got it. Five, don't beat me down. Four halfway, three. Two and one, all the way down. Awesome job. I'm gonna come up to a dead bug position or legs on a 90 degree bend. Now, if you need to go leg straight, you just go leg straight. I'm gonna do a little bit of dead bug right here. You could always do dead bug with just your arms. You're just gonna drop one arm, then the other arm. Maybe you add the legs. I'm gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg kicks out. Dead bug, nice. We're stabilizing that spine and core. Opposite arm, opposite leg extends from the body. You have no idea how excited I am to do a move. Normally, with a knee bend, feels so good. I am limited to 90 degrees right now. Still feels pretty achy to have that bend, but I'm just grateful for it. Right here, for four, nice work. For three, and two, and one. Now, if you are able to, you can come to a glute bridge with both legs. I cannot activate this hamstring. Turns out your hamstring inserts into your meniscus. So I'm gonna do a single leg glute bridge. You hover and lift right here. Single or double leg glute bridges. It's up to you. Lift and squeeze those glutes and hamstrings for eight. Nice work. Seven, you got it. Six and five. Drive that heel into the ground. Nice work. Final three, 
and two, and last one right there. Nice work. I'm gonna roll myself up to a seated position. Let's go ahead and just put the band around your feet. If you have the band right here, you can stabilize those feet nice and long. We're just gonna warm up the back. Just row right here. Just pull, pull that band right towards your chest, squeezing your back together. Nice work, eight, you got it. Seven, nice work, six, hold high, and five, four, awesome job. Last three, and two, and last one right there. I'll take that band off. Let's just sit here and just punch it out. You can sit back, engage that core, just jab it out, raise that heart rate just a bit right here. Final set in our warm up. Eight, seven, six, put something behind those punches. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. I hope you're nice and warm. We are going to jump right into circuit one. Circuit one is chest and legs, okay? So I'm going to start with one heavy dumbbell. One heavy dumbbell. If you don't have one heavy, you could always give two. I'm going to roll back to my back. We're going to do a chest press. I'm going to make sure my ball is nice and close to me. Actually, I'll just, I'll go ahead and put the ball in for the chest press. Now, if your leg has to stay up straight, you're going to go like this. If you can bend to a 90 degrees, you can bend. Option, your legs can rest on the ground as well, okay? I'm going to bend to 90 degrees. I'm going to take the ball and put it between my knees. Try and engage my inner thighs, my adductors throughout this exercise, okay? Move one. Move A is upper body, chest. Let's take the dumbbell in a hand. It doesn't matter which one. You're going to do both sides. Other arm's going to come up. It is a single arm chest press. So I'm going to lift and lower. You're going to notice how hard it is to manage the weight on one side of the body, okay? So I'm just working one arm. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Move two. You're going to hold this weight overhead. And you're going to go squeeze two, three, lower, and lift. You could always lower one leg at a time if you have straight legs. You do what works for you. All right, we're gonna start dumbbell in one hand, doesn't matter. It is a single arm chest press for 30 seconds, right into three squeezes and a lower, okay? We're gonna hit the arms, the core, and the legs. We go in three, single arm chest press in two and one, 30 seconds. So lower and lift, inhale down, exhale up. You'll notice this is a heavy 20 pound weight and it's hard for me to stabilize my core and keep my opposing hip on the ground as I lower that dumbbell. Use that breath to push it overhead. A lot of core turned on with this chest press from the floor. Nice work. It's only 30 seconds and you're in it. Finish it for five, four, three, two, and one. 10 second rest. I'm gonna take that dumbbell. I'm just gonna hold it overhead here and I'm gonna go three squeezes on the ball. One bent knee lower in three, two, 45 seconds here. Squeeze, two, three, hold the squeeze. Tap the heels, lift up. Squeeze, two, three, hold here. Tap the heels, lift up. Now I'm going very slow. Three, two, one, hold the squeeze. Slow and controlled because I'm still getting used to this bent knee. I'm feeling a little bit of, a little bit of muscle achies in these squeezes and these lowers. Nice work. Squeeze, two, three. You're activating the inner thighs and lift, squeeze, two, three. You could do this with straight legs. You could always just give me one leg lower at a time. Nice work, squeeze, two, three. 10 seconds, this longer 45 seconds. It's tough, you got it. Squeeze, two, three. Lower and lift for three, two, and one. Awesome job, rest for 10. Oof, -da. that leg is working extra hard. Here we go, single arm chest press, other side. Single arm chest press, other side. We go in three. Two, let's go, let's go. Down and up. I'm gonna put my opposing hand up to meet it. You'll see my legs swaying. I'm trying to keep my hips square as I perform this single-sided chest press all the way down and push. Trying to keep this hip from popping off the mat. It is so challenging, you guys, this single arm chest press. <sighs> Thinking about keeping those legs right where they are. Push overhead, nice. It is amazing how you can challenge yourself just from the ground, you guys. Let's do this. Come on, you got five, four, Three, two, and one. Hold that weight overhead. Oh no, we go back to single arm press. I'm gonna lower my legs. My working leg is just struggling right now, keeping tension right here. Same thing, back to that chest press just on the right arm. We go in three, two, let's go. Up, so now this is a lot easier for me. Allows me to go a little bit heavier and focus just on the chest. So you could go heavier and focus on the chest. You could go lighter and try and keep those legs lifted and really have to fight that right there. You decide what works for you today. I'm gonna do my second set here from the ground. It's 30 seconds, come on. 
Second time through this set, last time you're doing it on this arm, you're halfway. Let's go, chest press. If you got lighter weights, go ahead, double them up. Give me a double arm chest press right here. If you got heavier weights, go ahead and try that single arm. It is a challenge in its own way. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Weight's gonna go overhead. Legs are gonna squeeze that ball for three, and then lower. We go in three, two, let's go, let's go. Squeeze, two, three, hold the squeeze, tap the heels, lift up. Squeeze, two, three, hold the squeeze, tap the heels. Now the farther my knees are from my chest, three, two, one, the harder this is gonna be. As soon as I bring my knees closer to my chest, it gets a little easier, three, two, one, lower and lift. Squeeze for three, two, one, lower and lift. Awesome job, yes you can. This 45 second interval, it's longer, it's harder. Stay in it, squeeze, two, three, tap the heels, 10 seconds team, squeeze, two, three, tap and lift. Final four, three, two, and one. Let's go for one more floor tap, there it is. I'm gonna keep my feet on the floor and I'm gonna go ahead, transfer that weight over to the other arm. Last time in circuit one, single arm chest press in three, two, 30 seconds, here we go. Push and lower, nice work. Push and lower right here. Inhale, down, exhale, push. Now you can still think about squeezing that ball or that throw pillow between your knees, keeping those inner thighs turned on, trying to find ways to muscle or activate those muscles that I can with this knee injury. Come on, let's go team. 10 seconds on this chest press, close out circuit one right here. For five, four, three, two, and one, awesome job. Circuit one in the books, legs and chest. Nice work team, grab a quick sip of water. We're moving on to circuit two, which is legs and back. Legs and back, okay, so we are gonna grab the band for this one. If you have one of these awesome mini bands, you're gonna grab the mini band, okay? Mini band is gonna go around my ankle area, okay? If you are newer with your knee injury, okay, you can do this with just your body weight. Start with just your body weight, maybe from there, you progress up and you put the band around your thighs, okay? I have been cleared to have the band around my ankles, so make sure that works for you. The farther the band is down the leg, the harder it's gonna be, okay? The more knee strength you're gonna need if you're recovering right here. Single leg lift, so I'm gonna lift and lower, lift and lower for 30 seconds, okay? From there, I'm gonna come up, take the band and just put it around. I'm actually gonna go to a heavier band. I'm gonna loop it around one foot and go for a single arm row for 45 seconds and then we'll go leg lifts other side. So it's leg lifts, single arm row, leg lifts. Are you ready? 30 seconds of leg lifts. Starts in three, two, let's go. So I got straight legs lift and lower, lift and lower. I'm never taking tension off the band, I'm keeping constant tension, okay? So not coming all the way down here where tension comes off. Keep tension on your band, that's what makes it hard. Lift, nice work. Lift, you're using your glutes right here. Awesome job, nice work. Squeeze, awesome job. Squeeze, it's only 30 seconds per leg. You're up to single arm rows in five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, tell you what, that is intense. Those mini bands, I'm gonna take one band, put it around one foot, opposite foot, opposite arm, single arm row for 45 seconds in three, two, let's go, let's go, row. Nice work. Row, single arm row right here. We're gonna do just the right arm and just the left arm. Longer work time, 45 seconds. What do you got for me? Squeeze, nice work. Make sure this leg is locked out. That band is secure around your foot. Pull, nice work. Pull, awesome job. Shoulders away from the ears. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me, there we go, nice. Got it out, come on. Let's go, let's go, squeeze that back. I'm going for a heavier band on this back row. Legs and back, two big, powerful muscle groups. Stay with me, you got this. Come on, final five, four, three, two, one more row, because you can, awesome job. I'm just gonna swing my legs over so I can stay facing you. Single leg lift, other side. Lie on your side, right here. Lift it up in three, two, it's 30 seconds, other leg, nice work. Remember, you're keeping constant tension on that band. Lift, you got it, lift, awesome job. Like I said, if this is too much, you can always start with your body weight, body weight leg lift. You could always throw on an ankle weight, 
From there, progress to the band. The band is the hardest, so body weight, ankle weight, band. Body weight, ankle weight, band. 10 seconds, yes you can. Lift that leg up, squeeze, come on. You got it, final three, two, and one. We're rolling up and over, 30 seconds. Other leg back to the top of this set. One more time through it, leg lifts, leg lifts. In three, two, let's go, let's go. Lift and lower, lift. You got it, squeeze through these glutes right here. Ah, you gotta fight for it, fight for it. Stretch that band, 30 seconds per leg. It's the back-to-back -back superset that makes this challenging, guys. Come on, lift and lower. Stay with me, single arm rows. Get legs, we're gonna get a break. Yes, they are, I promise. It comes in five, four, three, fight for it. Come on, two and one. Nice work, I'm gonna go to my heavier band. Opposite foot, opposite arm. Single arm rows for 45 seconds. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders down and back. We row in three, two, let's go. 45 seconds on the other arm. Legs and back right here with the bands. Nice. These workouts have forced me to get creative. It's been fun to bring in some new pieces of equipment like the bands, the ball, the ankle weights. Nice, okay, so you know my story. I'm about five and a half, six weeks post bucket handle, full bucket handle, meniscus tear, it all wrapped up inside my knee. They were able to save it and repair it, which is awesome. So it's a nice long road to recovery. I'd love to know your story. If you're coming back from an injury, I love connecting with you and finding out what that is. It's been so fun. Not, I mean, it's not fun to be in this season, right? But we're gonna make the best of it. It's fun to connect with others who are going through what you've been through, you know that people have survived, made it through. Come on, final four, three, two, and one. Nice work, single leg lifts, other side, swing those legs up and over. Last time on the leg lifts, last time in circuit two. Right here in three, two, let's go lift and lower. For me specifically, it's been fun to hear from other moms who have had little kids. They're like, I was a mom of three littles or two littles or four littles when I did mine. I have three kids all age five and under. So it's been fun to hear from them. I'm like, you lived, you survived, you made it out alive. Each week gets a little easier. I'm just excited to get this brace off so I can walk and play with my kids again. Let's go, lift those legs, keep those muscles nice and strong right here for three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys, awesome job. It has been good for my mental and physical health to just try and keep moving and focus on what I can do versus what I can't do. And that is why we are here today, right? Circuit two in the books. Moving on to circuit number three. Circuit number three is triceps and core, all right, you guys? So move A is skull crushers and leg lowers. So we're gonna keep those legs straight right here, waist right here, bend, extend. One leg um, can lower as you skull crush. If you wanna just focus on the arms, just do the skull crusher, okay? And then move two is that dead bug, that weighted dead bug. So that dead bug we did, again, you can keep your legs straight. I'm gonna go for that bent knee if I can, okay? I'm gonna add some weight to my dead bug. I might need to switch up my weight. So right here, right? I'm gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg. Ooh, that's challenging. We'll see if I can make it 45 seconds. Starting with the skull crusher. Skull crusher, leg lowers are optional. 30 seconds, yes? Get your weights up. We go in three, two, Let's go, so one leg lowers as I lower the weights, extend. Bending just at that elbow. Your option, focus just on the skull crusher. Legs can rest on the ground. Option, add the leg lower. This is triceps and core, circuit three of five. Come on guys, bend, extend. Strength training is so important in all seasons of life, but you know, even with an injury, it has been so crucial because my physical therapist has said, I'm able to do, come on, three. Two, and one, nice work. Bend those knees if you can. We're gonna go into that dead bug. Option to keep the weights or drop them in three, two. I'm gonna start with the weights, see if I can keep them. Opposite arm, opposite leg, this is slow and steady. Spine and core stabilization, right here. A great move for injury prevention, <laughs> right here. Protect that back, nice work. But my PT said, you know, you're super fortunate you can carry your baby still and carry that car seat still, all due to your prior strength training coming into this injury. You have a solid strength foundation, which is gonna help you recover faster. So I'm just leaning into that. There's so much power in strength training. Nice work. Oh, there we go. Something serious talking to me on my watch. <laughs> okay, here we go. Nice work, guys. Weighted dead bug, stick in it. Ah, you got it. Opposite arm, opposite leg for five, four, three, two, 
and one. Back to Skull Crusher's leg lowers. Whoo, these arms are not gonna get a break. Skull Crusher leg lowers. 30 seconds in three, two, let's go. This is where it gets challenging because you're actually gonna do one minute of leg lower skull crushers. You'll get a quick 10 second rest, but we're going ABA. So this is move three. We're gonna go back to the top of this circuit, which is this same move. There's no switching sides or switching legs in this one. Really gonna hit muscle fatigue. Ooh, on these teeny little stinking triceps. Yes, we are. Stick in it. 10 seconds here, and then you get a 10 second break. Let's go. Come on, leg lowers are optional. Five, four, three, two. Give me one more, because you can. Ah, there it is, 10 second rest. Woo, I'm gonna set my weights down. Back to the top of the circuit. We're repeating that, guys. Skull crusher, leg lower, skull crusher, leg lower. Shake it out. Let's go, super set it in three, two. Let's go, right here. Come on, you're strong. You are capable, fight for it. You know the tricep is actually a three-headed muscle, has the capacity to be bigger than our bicep, a two-headed muscle. We just don't work it as much. So this circuit, you are gonna work your triceps. If this gets to be too much, you could always drop down to one weight. Whoo, I'm gonna feel this tomorrow, let me tell you. Stick with me, come on. It's five, four, three, two, and recover. Whew. Back to that weighted dead bug. I am excited for the dead bug. Bend at 90 degrees, opposite arm, opposite leg. In three, two, 45 seconds. Slow and steady right here. Nice work. Like I said, you can always drop these weights. Dumbbells are totally optional. And just do a body weight dead bug. If your legs need to be straight, that is okay. You can try opposite arm, opposite leg with a straight leg. That's actually harder than the bent leg. You got it. One rep at a time. Use that breath, exhale, pull the weight and the knee back together. Come on, you're halfway. Yes, you can. Fight for it. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this last set of tricep leg lowers. Woo, nice work, team. Stay with me. Yes, you got 10 seconds here on the dead bug. 10 seconds here on the dead bug, we go to skull crushers. Skull crushers in five, four, three, two, and one. I gotta set these weights down. Woo, shake it out. Man, these 10 second rests are no joke, you guys. Holy bananas. We go skull crushers, leg lowers. Final 30 seconds. In three, in two, in one. Come on, Lindsay. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. It's only 30 seconds. You can do anything for 30 seconds. You're about to close out. Circuit number three, right here. Circuit number three, come on, knock it out. Move three of five. Let me tell you, whoever said mat workouts were not challenging has not done this one. Come on, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, you see the arms shaking? Holy bananas is what we say when it gets so stinking hard. Right here for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Holy bananas, I am glad that circuit is done. All right, you guys, on to circuit four. Grab a quick sip. Legs and shoulders. We go legs, legs, shoulders, okay? I'm gonna throw my ankle weights for this one to try and make this circuit a little bit more challenging. This is gonna be a single leg glute bridge with a quad leg lower, all right? So I can only glute bridge on this leg. I cannot glute bridge on my bad surgery leg because I can't activate that hamstring. So if you're capable of switching legs, you're gonna do it. If you're not, you're really gonna feel the fire, like me, in this one leg. That's gotta work the entire time. Okay, so move one right here, single leg glute bridge. I'm gonna hold the glute bridge. And I'm gonna lower and lift. This leg is flexed. I'm engaging this quad, okay? That is move one. Move two, I'm gonna come up to a seated position. I'm gonna grab my weights, and we're gonna do a seated Arnold press, which is holy bananas hard because you're totally taking out the legs and focusing just on the arms. You're gonna rotate and rotate. Okay, a seated Arnold press. A seated Arnold press, alternating arms, right then left. I'll turn to you for that one. Let's start with our single leg glute bridge and leg lower, okay? Right here, single leg glute bridge. This leg is gonna stay long and straight for me with a quad leg lift. It's 30 seconds. We lift in three, two, let's go. Lift your hips off the ground, hold here. Flex this quad, lower and lift. So it's an isometric glute bridge. There's that beautiful sunshine shining down on us. <laughs> there it is, lift and lower right here. Nice work, so holding this glute hamstring while squeezing this quad right here, down up. You got it, down. And up, nice work, it's 30 seconds. Can you hold it high? Yes, you can. Come on, flex that quad, ankle weights are optional. Three, two, and one. 
Nice work, come down. I'll turn to face you. I'm gonna go legs long. It is a seated Arnold press. Take those weights right in front of your face. Alternating arms, 45 seconds in three, two. Let's go, so palm rotates out, then back to the face. Palm rotates out, then back to the face. Out, into the face, right here, 45 seconds. You got light weights, you could always double this up. I'm gonna alternate. You realize how hard shoulder presses are when you're sitting on the ground, taking the legs out of the equation and focusing just on those arms right here. Nice work, full range of motion. Nice, big press overhead, inhale, lower. Exhale, push. Come on, you got this. Woo, we love some good shoulder moves. We love some good shoulder moves. Back to that glute bridge. I'm gonna stay on the same leg, 10 seconds here. If you have the capacity to switch legs, go for it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, weights are down. I'm gonna go back to glute bridging. Right here on the same leg, back to quad lift, same leg. 30 seconds. If you can switch your legs, switch your legs. We go in three, two, let's go lift and hold, lower and lift. I'm thinking about pulling my toes to my face on that quad lift, pull the toes to the face. It's gonna help squeeze and activate that quad. That's your top thigh muscle. Nice work. That single leg glute bridge, I am holding. I'm digging my heel into the ground, activating my glute and my hamstring. Nice work team. Ankle weights are gonna up the intensity of this if you have them. Keep those hips lifted nice and high. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, we go right back into that same move. Right back into that move right there. Again, you switch legs if you have that capacity. I'm gonna stay right here. We go in three, two, let's go. Lift it high, slow and control, lower and lift. Nice work, so I'm working glute hamstring here. Quad, hip flexors turn on, quads and hips on the other leg. Nice work. Mm. 30 seconds, it's getting challenging. Come on, fight for each rep. Let's go, second time through this. Yes, you can. Keep those hips lifted high for 10, nine, eight, you got this, seven, stay in it, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slow control, lower, back to Arnold presses, alternating shoulder press, alternating shoulder press, right arm, then left arm, yes? Get them up, we go in three, two, 45 seconds right here. Push right. Push left, nice work. Push right, you got it, one rep at a time, fight for it. Come on, building strong arms and legs. Full body mat workout, effective workout you can do in 30 minutes, all from a seated injury, with a knee injury, with an ankle injury, leg injury. Come on, do your best, forget the rest. That is the motto and I am sticking to it. Come on, come on. Yes, you can, staying strong right here, one rep, at a time. Woo, what would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? Your shoulders are feeling it. Come on, fight for it. Yes, you can. Stay with me, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, final set on the single leg glute bridge, quad leg lift. Let me tell you, staying on the same leg is challenging. 30 seconds right here, guys. We lift those hips in three, two. Let's go lift up and hold. Flex that quad and lift and lower. 30 seconds right here. This is it, if you need to feel it more in that glute, draw your heel closer to your butt. Come on, think about keeping those hips nice and square. Don't let this floating hip drop. Keep those hips nice and square. Glass of water resting right here on your belly button. Come on, come on. Flex those toes to your face. You're in the final 10 seconds. Final 10 seconds, you got this. Stay strong for four, three, two, and one, lower it down, you guys. That is circuit four in the books. That is four circuits down, one to go. Circuit five. Are you with me? Circuit five. We are gonna keep the ankle weights on. No dumbbells needed, just your ankle weights, all right? This is all about the core. I'm gonna go back to those side leg lifts, adding a crunch right here. Long, long, long arm, long leg, crunch and lift. Crunch and lift right here. 30 seconds, you're gonna do that on each side, 30 seconds. And then you're gonna roll over to your belly right here. And you're gonna take those legs with those ankle weights. You're gonna open and close, open and close. I'm just gonna move my ball and weights out of the way, okay? So you're opening and closing. If you wanted to put a band on, holy bananas, that's gonna make it really hard, okay? I'm gonna keep just my ankle weight on. All right, let's start with that side leg lift. Side leg lift right here. Crunch it up, lift and crunch in three. Two, 
Let's go, lift and crunch. Long arm, long leg, big sweep. Inhale, exhale, lift. Nice. Exhale, lift. Nice. Obliques and glutes right here. Come on, it's 30 seconds per side. Yes, you can. Big lift. Nice work. Big lift. You got it. 10 more seconds right here. Hup, stay with me. Nice work, rolling to your belly in five, four, three, two, and one. Roll it over, find your stomach right here. You're gonna look down at the mat, you're gonna take those legs, you're gonna open and close. Lift and open, lift and close in three, two, 45 seconds. Here we go, lift and open, tap, tap in, tap out, tap in. Make a V, tap in, lift and open. You're working those hamstrings in a non-flexion position. This is what I can do for my hamstrings and glutes. You're also gonna feel this in the low back. Great way to strengthen the low back, the glutes, and the hammies with that leg locked out in a straight position. Remember, we're focusing on what we can do, not what we can't do. Focus on what you can do right here. Stay with it. You got this. Woo! Tell you what, it's challenging. 10 seconds, go 10. Nine, eight, you got this. Seven, stay with it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Ha. Nice work, you guys. All right, side leg lift and crunch. Other side, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, yes. We go in three, two, let's go. Long arm, long leg, crunch it up. Crunch and lift. Crunch and lift. Nice work. Whew. Awesome job. If you wanted to, you could even put a light weight in this hand right here, put a light weight right there. Boom, nice work. Engage that back a little bit. You got it, stay with it. Awesome job, you are crushing this workout. Come on, you're in the final set right here. Let's go. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, back to leg lifts, other side. 30 seconds, last time through guys, this is circuit five. Last round, here we go, come on, turn up the intensity right here, three, two, let's go. Last set, three moves, come on, finish it. You got two minutes of work left in your workout, that's it, you're so close to that finish line. I feel it, stick with it, right here. Nice, come on, finish this mat workout, nice and strong, yes, you got it, right here. Keep lifting for five, four, Three, two, and one. I'm going back to my bar days. Oh yeah. Tell you what though, there are so many benefits to that. Here we go. Nice, long neutral spine. Lift those legs, open in three, two. Let's go 45 seconds. You're gonna lift to a V, lift to a close. Lift to a V, lift to a close. Just barely tapping the toes or the balls of your shoes on the ground. Tap and tap, you got it, tap. And tap, look at this, we could add the arms. We live in Minnesota, it's like making a reverse snow angel. We'll call these snow angels. There we go, that's fun. Come on, woo, nice work. This is the hardest snow angel I've ever made, let me tell you, woo. I feel it, it's there, you got it. Stay with me right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Woo, that is one strong snow angel. Let me tell you, last set of crunches, guys. Straight arm, straight leg. Ooh, these ankle weights, let me tell you, they just add something extra. Here we go, in three, two, let's go. Nice work, right here. I'm not gonna lie, I had these ankle weights for a while. Never put them to use until this knee injury. But I think I'm gonna keep them around for a while. I like them, they're a fun way. Just crank up the intensity a little bit. I mean, to be honest, I've been wearing them while I've been vacuuming. You know, just something to add a little intensity to my daily movement. 10 seconds, let's go. Lift it up, right here. Stay with me for five, four, three, two, and one. You did it, 30 minutes, just over a little bit of 30 minutes on the mat. Man, that's a good full body workout. I don't know about you, but I am feeling it. I'm gonna feel that in my triceps tomorrow. I'm gonna take these little, Ankle weights off, quick stretch, and you are out of here. Yeah, let's go all the way back down to the mat. Let's go for that slow roll. So start sitting right where we started. Give me a couple shoulder rolls, up, back, and down. Up, back, and down, brace that core. Slow roll back for eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Nice job, nice long body stretch. Arms go long, legs go long. Big inhale, big exhale. Pull one leg up, right leg, left leg, doesn't matter. Nice little hamstring stretch, roll out the ankle. Nice, awesome job. From here, if you're able to, you can bend that knee ever so gently and take it across your body. Nice little spinal rotation. Ooh, nice back crack, that feels good. Oh, it feels so good to bend my knee and do this one again. I've been doing this with a straight leg. Just feels so good. Nice, bring it back to center. I'm not rubbing this in. I'm so sorry if you are locked out. I have been locked out for six weeks myself and it's just like freedom to unlock that stinking brace. Here we go, bend this knee, take it across the body. Tell you what, you, this is a humbling experience. Helps you not take your healthy body for granted. Also makes me want to strength train the, you know, just like so hard so I can never do my best to prevent injuries. You can never prevent them. Sometimes life happens. So I can do my best to prevent them. All right, nice work. From here, go ahead, roll yourself back up to a seated position. Turn around, we're gonna go for a nice wide leg fold. This just feels so good. So the legs can stay, stay straight. Just gonna reach out, stretching through the hamstrings, those inner thighs we activated with that first circuit. Just stretch it out right here. Nice work, you guys. So proud of you. Way to make the best of today and join me for this workout. If you need more stretching, you can find stretches at nourishmovelove.com. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you back here soon. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me for that mat workout. If you loved it, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna add on, you can find more of our mat workouts right here, or you can find our entire library of seated exercises in this playlist right here. Have a great day.